Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 15th, right around the 15th, okay? So we're going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you, okay? So what do we have for a message for around the 15th? The Fool. The Fool is a new beginning. It's starting a new journey. So this is spontaneous, acting acting on a whim, okay? So somebody may be doing something very spontaneous. It looks like this is uh, taking a risk. You know, just doing it. I'm just going to do this. This is, this is risky. It is risky. But it's exciting as well. It's leaving something behind. Somebody's leaving something behind, stepping into new territory, doing something they've never done before. Justice. Justice. Justice is the truth, a decision. Taking, taking the power. Uh, you know, look at this is like, it looks like this is, I don't know what it is, but the fool is very free spirited justice. I mean, it looks like there is somebody here that is angry almost, you know, if you take a look at the person's face, very interesting. Got to do what I got to do. I got to do what I got to do. It's about the facts. It's about the truth. I got to, I got to do something. So somebody is definitely making a decision being honest with themselves doing the right thing acting with integrity bringing balance you know this is a card of balance it's a card of restoring balance there's some sort of karma here as well somebody may be held accountable for their actions as well I mean, that sword is the truth. It's also a sword that cuts. Cutting, somebody may be cutting themselves free. The truth will set you free. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Okay, all right. The truth will set you free. That's what that is. Mm. Accepting the truth, seeing the truth. It's not easy, obviously, by the look on that person's face. But then, you know, it goes from, like, disdain to wonderful. It's like, this is great. I'm free. Somebody may be cutting themselves free. Maybe they haven't been honest with themselves. Who knows? But the Ace of Swords in that card is some sort of facts. It's the truth. It's information. So somebody may go, oh, it's an epiphany or something like that. There's some sort of, oh, what's the word for it? Evidence, per se. Somebody may be getting some sort of evidence or they're getting their information that they need that, that sets them free. So this is definitely about freedom and, and starting over, okay? There could also be travel, okay, with the, with the Fool card. The fool is, is starting a new journey, stepping into new territory, uh, leaving something behind, you know, because the fool only takes that little bag, not, not everything, okay? Just what, what he can fit in that little bag, um, experiences. But there's also a bunch of new beginnings in that bag, okay? It's the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. So there's new beginnings. There's an opportunity for stability. There's an opportunity for love. There's an opportunity for passion. And there's an opportunity for truth and new ideas, and it's exciting. So somebody is 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 embarking on a on a new path, and it's and I feel like it's it's probably very sudden, because the fool is a very impulsive, sudden energy. It is sudden. This is and it's a sudden decision. It is a sudden decision. Somebody is making a sudden decision to 
do something spontaneous, okay? Everything is going to turn out as it should with the Justice card. Okay, everything is going to turn out as it should. The Harrow font, so there's a higher power involved here. Right in the middle. Godly energy, okay? This is a higher power that there's guidance. There's some sort of guidance. Faith, the fool is faith and so isn't the Harrow font. So there's something about faith, step forward in faith, um, committing. Somebody's going to be committing themselves to a new journey. They're going to be com committing themselves to a new path. This is somebody who has maybe received some guidance from above, right? Maybe even from a mentor. We have a teacher here. Somebody may be... Uh, learning some things or they're about to once they embark on this new journey they're about to learn some things there is a there is a higher power that is realigning things because those scales are aligned is realigning things in in uh, guiding somebody down a new path There's a need to believe and have faith and just go for it, okay? Just go for it. Step forward with faith, okay? Step onto this new path with faith. Have faith. Just do it. Just do it. Be spontaneous. Maybe it's the right thing to do. Maybe you have to... I mean, that sword is the sword that cuts. I mean, yeah, the truth hurts sometimes. Sometimes you have to be honest and upfront and tell the truth. If you want to break free from something that has uh, caused an imbalance in your life, you might have to be upfront and, and whatever. Everything is going to turn out as it should. There's a higher power involved that is probably, there's, I feel like if, if the truth hasn't come out, it's about to, okay? There's some sort of truth that is about to come out. It's the whole truth and nothing but the truth, okay? It's time to go down that path. Hierophant, there's guidance here. Could be dealing with an Aries, could be dealing with a Taurus, could be dealing with a Libra. Um, somebody may be receiving some information, you know, um, I feel like whatever this information is, it it may not be what they want to hear, but it leads them down a new path, okay? That they're being guided. It's, 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 it's the path that the higher power wants you to go down. Have faith. Believe. Believe in yourself, okay? Believe, because the, the fool is a card of self. Believe in yourself. And the, and the Hierophant is believe. Believe in yourself. Believe in new beginnings. Believe. Have faith. Believe. 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 There's divine guidance here. Very spiritual energy. Spiritual justice as well. The Emperor reversed. Oh, God. Now, we got four cards so far. We got four cards, and uh, they're all majors. So that means the universe is in control. There is definitely a higher power that is in control, okay? We have somebody here that is clinging to control with the, jet, with the emperor reversed. Somebody's been getting karma. This emperor in reverse has been getting some karma because I feel like, I don't know if they've deserted somebody in their time of need or if this is somebody that is very naive and controlling, uh, corrupt. We may have somebody here that is corrupt, that is in a position of authority, that abuses their power with the emperor reverse. Well, there's a higher power here. There's a higher power here. The emperor is a corrupt leader in reversed. 
in reverse. This is somebody who has abused their position. They have abused their power, you know. This is somebody that clings to control, is very, very controlling. It's right underneath the justice card. So that's karma. That's being held accountable for your actions. The higher power sees all, okay? The higher power sees all. So I do believe that we have, I don't know if this is a father figure or it's a boss or it's a husband or it's somebody that's in their masculine energy that it has abused their power. This person's about to receive some karma, unfortunately. Or it's the end of a contract because the because the uh, justice is a card of contract. Emperor reversed. Let's get another card for that. Out of control, controlling energy, things disorganized. Mm. Page of Swords reversed, clarifying that Emperor. Whoo! Reverse. So the Page of Swords reversed is an enemy. It's an enemy. It's an enemy disguised as a friend. It's like a, or it's bad news. Some sort of bad news is coming. Could be a younger person. A younger person is, is going to be delivering some bad news. Or this person is an enemy disguised as a friend. We have it could be it could be a child it could whoever this person is is they're they maybe it feels like they're being they're being uh, I don't know if we have a tattletale here or or somebody that is uh, a troublemaker we may have a troublemaker here with the page of swords reversed this person doesn't care who they hurt. They don't. They don't care who they hurt. Um, they are in a. They like as long as they're in control. As long as they're in control, they don't care who they hurt. Not very experienced. This is somebody that may be on the wrong side of the law, or they're just extremely naive. You know, they could have somebody here that is extremely naive. Not very. I'm. I'm just being honest with you. Not very intelligent. Emperor reverse and the page of swords reverse. That's not thinking clearly. It's definitely not thinking clearly. Maybe very immature you know this is like somebody that is immature they're not you know they don't have the life experience that they should have or they have their life experience but they're not using it to their advantage <clears throat> page of swords there's some sort of miscommunication here lies lies somebody's lying they're with the page of swords reverse somebody's not telling the truth truth's gonna come out because there's a higher power here. So there's some sort of truth that is coming out. Somebody's going to be caught off guard. They're going to be caught off guard by an individual that is going, I don't know if they're going to tell on them or something like that. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm breathing. So this is heavy. I think it's very, very, very heavy. We all, I, you know, we either Ten of Swords, the end, the death of a situation. Something is definitely coming to an end. Somebody is losing their power. They're, this is a fall from grace or it's a fall from power. Somebody is about to be cut down, taken down, or, you know, there's some sort of information that is going to come out that's, gonna, that's going to change everything. Okay, it's going to change everything. This is the end. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. This is, it's the end. Okay, the Ten of Swords is the end. It's over. It's over. So this is the death of a situation. It's time, okay, it's time for the final verdict, right, with justice. It's time. It's time for, you know, the truth to come out. And, well, here comes the truth. And it hurts. I know the truth. I can see that it hurts. There's been some sort of betrayal here. That's the ultimate betrayal. It's like in being judged. I, and I don't even need the judgment card. I feel like we have somebody here that's being judged for their actions. And they have acted without integrity. 
they've abused their power. This person is, uh, it feels like they've betrayed somebody in a very, very big way. And there's consequences because because there's a higher power involved here and the justice card is about consequences. So somebody's about to be, get, you know, be held accountable for their actions. And, it, and it's going to be a major ending with that Ten of Swords. It is going to be the end. Okay, it's the end. This person, um, somebody could be even, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. When when um, you get the hair off, somebody could be attending a funeral, okay, of an individual that was corrupt anyway. This person was corrupt. They were on the wrong side of the law. They may have deserted, you know, uh somebody well they probably did in their time of need this could be this could be like a father that didn't take care of their child just being honest i mean we have the emperor next to the page of swords they're both reversed you know deserted a child i'm just being honest or whatever the case is this could go i could go all day with just these cards but anyway we have somebody here that has been in a position of power that they didn't take religiously or they didn't do the right thing, they didn't act with integrity, and they're about to receive their karma for that, if they've probably been receiving it already, but whatever. Um, there is somebody here that is going to be stepping into new territory, leaving leaving this experience, well, taking the experiences with them, but leaving everything behind. So, you know, I feel like somebody is, is definitely... Um, going down a new path or being guided to do that, this is the end. It is the end. It's the end of suffering. Somebody has uh, went as low as they can go, and and I feel like it's it's been um, hidden at, because of that justice. It's like the truth hasn't come out yet. Well, here it comes. Here it comes. There's some sort of exposure here with the Page of Swords reversed. I wonder if somebody's been investigating. You know, I don't know if somebody's been investigating behind the scenes. They've been watching, been keeping it to them, themselves. Boom! Here we go. Bad news. Bad news. Ace of Pentacles reversed. This is unplanned loss. Death, the end, the end. This is absolutely in the end. So we have an unplanned loss here, okay? Somebody uh, is losing something. They are losing something because of their lack of integrity. Missed opportunity. Endings lead to new beginnings, so we do have a profound life change here. This is a release. This is a separation or a loss. It absolutely is. I know that there's people that don't want to hear that, but that's a fact. That's the truth. This loss, <laughs> the fool card, is a new beginning, okay? It leads to a new beginning. So we do have a, and it's sudden. It is a sudden loss. Somebody has... Uh, maybe they focused on money, you know, that Ace of Pentacles is money. They focused on money, you know, and, and maybe that's where their karma is. Their karma is losing financial stability or losing something that, you know, they should have, they should have uh, held on to. <laughs> Unplanned loss. It feels like it's money. Um letting go letting go being let go somebody could be let go because they've abused their power the higher power is involved the hierophant it's interesting is the highest power of all it's higher than the emperor okay it's the highest authority okay so we have the hierophant versus the emperor reverse so it's the highest authority the higher power is in control okay not not your human self Okay, so I feel like we have somebody here that has abused their power that is now going to be experiencing a significant loss with the Ace of Pentacles reversed. It's going downhill fast. Hitting the ground fast. Death, major life change, profound life change. It's over. It's over. It's over. 
It's over. It's over. But we have a new life that begins instantly. Instant, instant, instant. Leaving it all behind, going to a new place. And it's all because some sort of truth comes out. Right? This is a transition. It is a transition from one phase, from, from one situation to another. So this is a major transition. Stepping into new territory, seriously. That's what the fool is. It's starting a new journey, a brand new journey, leaving it all behind. And, and, and you know, I gotta be honest, we've had quite a few majors. It's universally driven. This is beautiful. Okay, this is, this is a star. This is hope. This is unexpected help arriving. This is a new purpose. This is a wish being granted. Maybe somebody's been wishing for freedom or they've been wishing for something else you know they've been praying they've been praying for something better you know the universe or god will answer your prayers in the way that they see fit not the way you see fit so i do believe somebody's prayers are being answered they're being this is guiding this is a guiding guiding star right a guiding light somebody is being guided towards their wish fulfillment they are there's also some unexpected help here, and I don't know where that unexpected help is coming from, but there is unexpected help. This is a new purpose. There's definitely divine guidance here. There is. There's some sort of... Uh, there's unexpected help from above. Somebody is being guided down a new path. They've been in some sort of unbalanced situation where they have, I don't know if, if they've abused their own power. You know, they've abused the, I mean, we all do it. Let's be honest. Mm. Just breathe, just breathe. And I don't know where that's coming from. Just breathe, because I keep having, I don't usually have to do that. So something about breathing. priestess high priestess a high priestess is you know somebody that is very spiritual that uh, has some sort of healing ability there may be some like I said this unexpected help arriving this is a messenger this is also somebody who uh, has some sort of psychic ability observes reflects there's somebody that is about to reveal some sort of information. They've been keeping it to themselves. There's some sort of, uh, this is intense, whatever it is. It's very, very, very intense. Queen of Swords on the bottom. There's definitely some information that is coming out. Very authentic, very truthful. The truth, here comes the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And you are about to be judged for your actions. Somebody's been keeping quiet, but they aren't, they aren't going to keep quiet anymore. They are. The higher power is like urging them to reveal it. So there's going to be a big reveal of some sort. The High Priestess is the Hierophant's counterpart. So we could have a couple that is coming together because the, the, it's the, it's the, the Hierophant and the High Priestess go together. It's all part of the script. This is all part of the script. The end of suffering the end of being abused. There's been some sort of abuse here. 
with the emperor reversed and the page of swords. Something it could be somebody that abused their child or neglected their child or something like that. I don't know. It doesn't have to be a child, but there's some sort of abuse here. It is the end of abuse. It is. Starting on a new journey, starting over from scratch, taking a leap of faith. Believe, believe, don't look back, just go. Just do it. Let go, let go, let go, let go of your fear. This is unplanned, whatever it is. It's an unplanned, profound life change. Listen to your gut. Be honest with yourself. And don't let fear hold you back from new beginnings. Good luck.